I never really thought I'd end up in the middle of the war, but didn't really understand how. Politics was never my thing, and guild rivalries were always over my head. I had my own problems, more along the lines of acne and girls. Now I look back, I realize the fact not much was going on in my life was a good thing. There was always someone around to talk to, we didn't have to do a thing. Then one day the soldiers came and got me and a bunch of other guys from around there. They wanted us for the company. At first, I was proud of my soldier's uniform and the weapons they gave us. Then I caught on. War's got nothing to do with being a hero. It's just about crawling forward with blood everywhere. Days of searing heat, jammed into makeshift. Stinking trenches teeming with rats. So tired, we could hardly stand, but still couldn't sleep. Shaking, thinking what was going to hit us in the night. Nighttime meant marches from hell. Stepping in blood and shit. Herded around like cattle by dim-witted officers who kept sending dozens of idiots like me off to get butchered. All the time shouting at us like it was our fault. Idiots who pissed themselves when they saw the enemy blades and cried like babies just thinking about having to kill again. Could have gone on like that for ages, until it was my turn to get killed. Except, I got captured with a bunch of other guys I hardly even knew. They rounded us up and shoved us into a cattle car, jammed in like mutants. And they sent us way over to the other side of the lines. Can't really remember if it was day or night. I completely lost track of time. Pretty much lost track of everything. You are now in Camp 19. If you watch your step, we will get along just fine. Prisoners to Camp 19. Get off the train and stand in line. Then they shook us out, lined us up, this one guy crying his eyes out. You're about to meet the sand pit. I want every one of you clean within the hour. You will then be taken to the registration office. You will inform them of what you know how to do, and you will be assigned a post and a bunk. Now, get going. Full out. He wanted us to clean up. Not such a bad idea. So we had a sand shower. Check it out, guys. Fresh meat. Good to see. I was starting to get tired of fucking the same asses. Hey, you are not bad, dickweed. <laughs> Pretty little girl eyes. <laughs> Yeah? 
What do you want? Your share? This bitch is mine. I saw her first. Unless you've got some idea about taking me on, she's mine. Looking for trouble or what? Tough guy, huh? Fucking retard. Ha! <laughs> if you want to check out the scenery, just set yourself down somewhere. I always like to help people out. Right, guys? Don't know when to stop, huh? You got something to say? Say it! <laughs> Nobody speaks mouse here, dickweed. But if you're looking for trouble, you came to the right place. We're not gonna put up with some retard pissing us off. <sighs> not so smart, you know. Coming after me like that. Retards like you need to be put down like dogs. Bet you're an even bigger bastard than me. I get all choked up just thinking about that poor little bitch. Asshole. Forget it, guys. This guy's a skin job. No point staying in the line of fire. Um, thanks for helping me out. Don't think I was just helping you out. If you're not gonna fight to survive, I'm not gonna do it for you. You just got lucky back there. I owed the fat guy a little something. I understand, but it's the same thing, so thanks. Whatever. Just put a lid on it, all right? Come on, we gotta get out of here. Okay, I'm with you. is finished, I'll never be able to fix it here. And they'll never change it. Aw, oh, fuck me. Hey, hey, I'm working. I'm not here to shoot the shit. You just seem to be spinning your wheels is all. Shit, this camp's a ruin. I don't have what I need to repair the thermal conductors or the sand pump. And I need something to tighten these bolts. And of course, my wrench is broken. I'm keeping busy, though. I can always unblock the sand extractor. I'm not too busy just now. Can I give you a hand? Looking for something in exchange, I guess? <laughs> if you can dig up some parts and a wrench, I'll be grateful. But I already took everything in the stock, and I got no idea where to look now. What exactly do you need? I need two resistors, three bits of sheet metal, and a number nine wrench. I'll get that for you. If you can do that, man. Pretty much a wasteland equipment-wise round here. <laughs> Why help the mechanic? I mean, even if he seems all right, he's still an enemy. Yeah, true, but I think it could be useful for us to get on his good side. He could give us equipment or serum. fun with her? Hope you didn't spread her too much. Meantime, me and my buddies, we figure we don't like your attitude. You may be a retard, but we're not gonna put up with that kind of shit from a nutcase who don't know good enough to open his mouth when he has to. So, we're gonna party, see? Yep, I see.
slut's head in. to the infirmary. They nearly got killed. It's the same thing. Every time we get new arrivals, always gets them excited. Some days I wish I was at the front. You... you nearly killed them. And what do you think they'd have done to us if we'd been the ones kissing dirt? You gotta be ready for anything around here. Name's Roy. You? Innocent. But aren't you from Aurora? Afraid I am, kid. They call me Temperance back in the day. I figured Roy was better. Virtue names aren't exactly my thing. All right, I... I think I understand. You're kinda out of place. How'd you end up here? The war, I guess, same as everyone. You might not believe me, but... I've seen things. I know how to look after myself now. It's just that... Let's just say I needed some time to find my feet. Anyway, now you're up and about. You might just be useful to me. Not as your bitch, I hope. Why? You applying? Actually, I was more interested in someone who could help me get out of here. Can't do it on my own, but with an extra set of hands... Huh. Let's go to the mess. I think we need to have a talk. Without interruptions. All right, I'll follow you. 